Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of... I don't really know what I'm going to call it. Right now it's named Jera Talks. If I figure out a better title, it will be in the title of the video, he pro he pro obviously. He probably, should, he probably should figure out the better name. I probably should, yeah. Alright, so joining me is Victor. Welcome to hey, hey. Jera Talks, or whatever I call it. Something better than Jera Talks. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, so, the point of this, hopefully a series, is to just make a podcast on what I've been doing in my life, what whatever guest I have on the show has been doing in his life, yeah, talk about life. things that I'm interested in. I don't want to make this necessarily like a tech podcast where I give you a ton of news. I'll talk about news that's relevant to me, give my input, and obviously the guest's input, well, but... That's about it. I expect that you'll... I mean, I might link some articles in the description if they're specific, re, specifically relevant to whatever we're talking about. But other than that, I don't expect people to come to me for news, just my opinions and personal stuff. Yeah, all right. So with that out of the way, today on the podcast, we have Windows news 8. News about Windows 10. <laughs> yeah, Windows 10. Why did I say Windows 8? News about Windows 10, yeah. And... Victor's Vacation, games we did together, and more things in between. So, um, oh, why don't we start like with Windows 10? Just spoiling everything? Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, well <laughs> I didn't say anything on them. All right. <laughs> First thing, Windows okay. 10. Um, If you didn't know, last Tuesday, Monday, right? Was it? Yeah, it was Monday, the 30th of September, Windows had a little press conference where they released the... Microsoft had a press conference. They, they decided we can't count anymore. Yes. Microsoft they press conference. 10. They released Windows 10 instead of Windows 9 See? because... See? Screw that. Apple was basically flamed for calling uh, its latest operating system 1010. Now... Because Microsoft doing Windows 10 from Windows 8. I mean, I it's not 10.10. 10. It is. But Windows isn't 10.10. 10. No. It's W.10. Yeah. So both it's, of it's these... still stupid. But both of these um, have lost their ability to count. Yeah, there was a developer that tweeted the reason behind it. I don't have the tweet open anywhere, but I, it was something about the fact that there's already Windows 95 and Windows 98. So for developers, this is a third Windows operating system to check for that begins with a 9. And since a lot of, apparently, a lot of people that when they code their games to detect what operating system they're using, they lump 95 and 97. They just say if Windows begins with a 9, it's probably too old. So it has oh, to God. be at least XP and up. Which is, I mean, I don't know. That, that was the example code he used, and apparently when they were testing the Windows version numbers, it caught a lot of people off guard, and so they decided to, instead of making everybody change their code, just go with Windows 10, because obviously logic. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, that's not what they said at the press conference. I'm pretty certain that the press conference, they're just like, yeah, Windows 10 is uh, better, so we're going to ignore 9. It's a huge sleep up from Windows 10. Windows 8, Windows 10 is a huge leap up. Yeah, oh my god, I can't talk today. Um, <laughs> so, But they have a public developer <clears throat> release out. Developer Which I'm going to download right now. Yes, way. Technic, yeah, go do that. Um, you sign up as uh, preview.windows.com, I believe. Yeah, preview.windows.com. You can sign in with your Windows ID, get started, and you'll have access to download the Windows 10 beta. It's really cool, really easy. I have it set up in a Hyper-V virtual machine on my computer. I don't know if it's because it's a virtual machine or just because it's Windows 10, but it starts up in about three seconds. I mean, I click virtual machine power on, it loads the virtual machine into memory, I see the little spinning icon for about that long, and then there's a the login screen. It's pretty awesome. Um. Now, I'm not sure how fast that's going to be through BIOS and actual boot on a hard drive. I haven't tested that yet. I might do it later once there's maybe a more stable release. Um, there's certainly a lot of bugs. They added uh, multiple desktops, which has a few issues. You can't drag Windows in between them, but... I mean, well, it's there's some <clears throat> stuff finally, to work around. You got, finally, you guys got multiple desktops, too. Mm -hmm. Everyone I haven't had a, had a problem. 
Yeah, well, I haven't had an issue with it. If I ever need more space on my computer, I just add an extra monitor. So now I have, I'm sitting in front of six displays because that seems to be just enough monitor real estate for me to use. But I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use multiple desktops that often, but it's interesting. We'll see what happens. Um, They added a start menu, which is basically Metro shrunk down into a little box that tabs open and closed. Uh, We got these new features just all of the features just stolen from other OS's or not stolen but more as in they finally get them too because they're not features it was borrowed it. yeah it was borrowed <laughs> after yeah, years. it's not stolen it's it, it's borrowed not, it's not stolen it's it's more like well um here we finally got these too and everyone's like oh good for you <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. It's complicated, but... Yeah, that was complicated. I, I wasn't prepared to be alone for that second. That didn't go well. Sorry about that. It it happens. There will be <laughs> magic... I'll put in a magic twinkling sound there while I fade out yeah. and back in, while I fix something. Yeah. Yay, um magic twinkling sound. Well... Yay. That's the advantage news, of recording uh, both of us okay. on separate tracks. Let's now, as any news or non-news agency has to report, Apple has now got bendable phones. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a, any podcast without talking about Apple, because, yeah. Because it's Apple. And when we say that satirically, Apple does not, the iPhone 6 is bendable, it's not intentionally bendable. Apparently this is blowing up on Twitter, like trending, what, bend gate or something. Yeah. It's, it's stupid. And the it, fact it, yeah. is... There's an... There's been these drop tests, cold tests, water tests on YouTube for as long as I can remember. Smartphones has been here. Now there's a new one. It's the bend test. Yeah. So I mean, Victor, do you want to go into more explanation on Apple's bendable iPhone six and six plus? Well, I, I do understand it because the six doesn't bend. I tried to bend that bend it. I also tried to bend the six plus, but. I couldn't bend that one either. But uh, I do understand that a lot of 6 plus bends, and that would be logical seeing they're like. They're incredibly large aluminum phones now without a steel support frame inside. That's. Yeah. Yeah. They're not especially um, durable. I don't think they were intended to be either, but okay. Yeah, they're supposed to be pretty. But, I mean, everybody's making this out to be an enormous debacle and it's not really apple has come out and said that they've only had like last i checked it was only nine people have actually reported yeah. bent iphones which is and not as much as you other think phones. other phones at the same size also bends or in the worst case they actually break instead of just bending yeah what is it the htc 1m8 which is one of the best android phones out there right now actually bends at less weight than or less pressure weight than the iPhone 6 and 6 plus I think like they're I don't know the uh what was it some news website did it you look it up um it's pretty cool but they it was about 90 pounds of force to actually bend the iPhone beyond bouncing back because aluminum doesn't really bounce back but that's not a big deal I don't know I, yeah, well, maybe we well plastic is good it. at plastic is good at just bending back to its original shape. Aluminum is not. Yeah, it is a well. Aluminum is, yeah. aluminum is a happy metal that loves to get new shapes. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's true. And the one I made is a D indeed aluminum on the back, so makes sense. Um. All right. Well, that was our news segment. <laughs> Yay! Done with Yay. news. Done with news, because news is boring, and, yeah. News are fun, but it's, it's boring to report News is news. fun. There hasn't been a whole lot of news, other than that okay, the so, Shadows uh, of Mordor came out this past week. Let's, let's just switch topics. How's the weather at your place? Pretty great. No, it actually is not great. Um, Oh, yeah, I was going to rant, but I don't know. I, maybe I will. So, it's gotten that point in the year where it is... Really cold in the morning and really hot in the afternoon. So I wear pants in the morning. You know, I put on my jeans. I go outside and 
I'm almost shivering in short sleeves and jeans. And then it gets really, really hot by the afternoon, and I have to walk home in jeans, and I start sweating, and it's annoying. So today, I decided, all right, fine, if it's going to be hot, I'm going to put on shorts. And you know what happened? Mm, it started snowing? Almost. It was overcast the entire day, and it started raining when I had to go home. So, I just can't keep up with the weather. It's annoying. So yeah, and it, the well, funny thing is, like two weeks ago, it was really cold, and it, it was stayed cold for like a week and a half, and it was the beginning of fall, and everybody's like, "Ooh, fall! Looks like it's time to rip out the sweaters and jeans and everything." And then this week comes along, so I go, "Nope, it's gonna be summer degree temperatures." It's like, what is it, ninety-two degrees Fahrenheit here today? Why do this? Is, is, weather? Yeah, hmm. it's. Yeah. That's annoying, but I don't know. Next week, I don't even want to look at the weather. Maybe the I should start looking at the weather. Good. Yeah, well, that's good. And weather so, in Norway is good. What about everywhere else you visited, Victor? Well, I was in Copenhagen, which is everywhere else, clearly. Uh, Copenhagen was fun. Copenhagen was good. They had Starbucks. Cool. So you went on vacation <laughs> this past week. <laughs> Yeah, uh, three days. What did you do in Copenhagen? Um, I went to Starbucks three times. Does that count as something to do? Sounds like a vacation. <laughs> and I was in Copenhagen, which was... Yeah, and I ate pizza, pizza, pizza. Italian mm. pizza. Ooh. I'm having yeah. pizza. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's great. Co Copenhagen was awesome, though. And Danes are awesome. Got it. <laughs> <sighs> Your stupid doc. I'm reading the doc, and Victor just has stupid comments written on here. What What is your mailbox advertisement you want to plug or whatever? Oh, mailbox advertisement. Well, it's Dropbox's new mail client, and it's for... Well, it's hey, available yeah. for iOS and Android, as far as I know. Um... And it's also available for Mac as beta now. So you have to request this cute little beta coin, coin that you drop in the beta cam, and then you get beta access, which is awesome. It's just so... the cutest graphics ever. But it's it's the best mail client I've ever used. It has some cool features like remind me to read this mail when I get to my Mac, or something like that. I'm looking at the mailbox app yep. for all right. So it's it is on Android, iPad, iPhone, OS X. Makes sense. Windows um, will be. All right. I don't like. What is the point? It looks very similar to the iOS client for. Well, first off, mail. It, it 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 kind of forces you to sort mail. It forces you to either trash, archive, or move it to a folder, which kind of makes sense. And it also makes it extremely easy to set up auto sorting, which basically automatically sorts any mail from. In my case, PayPal to a folder called PayPal, because I don't really care about the mail PayPal sends me, but they might be handed to ref reference later. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sounds pretty cool. I mean, it looks good. Um, it certainly matches the iOS eight theme. I see yeah, you it's... can um put off emails to. Does it like remind you of the emails when you get somewhere <clears throat> or on a day? Yeah, also, oh, I just got a mail from Microsoft. Uh... <laughs> um, also, they have this, um, when you're done with all your mails, they show you the picture of the day, which I really like, because they just take a really good Instagram picture from someone and just show you that, which is always beautiful. Mm, it's basically incentives a, well, to check your mail. Incentives to, to be done with all your mail. I think uh, what Dropbox set up, or the Mailbox team set up, it was because uh, it was Mailbox team and then Dropbox kind of took over, which is one of the best companies to be taken over by, I think. it's. Oh, one... so Dropbox didn't, like, start the project? No, they took over the project, and that's way better than MC being taken over by Microsoft. <laughs> cramped, cramped. It is, uh, and... but that Anyway, is... um, I think what they said was, uh, we've seen that people use uh, their mail inbox as a to-do list. Therefore, we made it more like a to-do list. Yeah, I can, 
I can see how this would be useful. Um, looks good. Speaking of things on the internet that look good, Wiki Wand. Is, Wiki Wand, yeah. Wikipedia is Wikipedia is the best thing ever, right? Yes. Uh, still, it does look kind of outdated now. While it still looks okay, it looks outdated. That's why you have Wiki Wand. <gasps> Again, I'll try to put links to some of these in the description. Uh, it's just wikiwan.com. Maybe I shouldn't put that. But um, anyway, so basically, it reskins your Wikipedia page. So if you go to any Wikipedia page, it gives it nicer graphics, makes your text scale better on other devices, and adds nice background images and sliders, and it just looks pretty amazing. I. Yeah, it know. yeah, it, it looks awesome. I, I All the just... content is still there, they just rework it in a better style and formatting. So Yeah, they just style it in a better way, which I, I yeah, I It looks quite a bit better. I mean, they have 3D responsive tiles and good stuff. Every, everything's good stuff there. Way better than a static text on a page, hey. but it's free. Just try Wiki Wand. If you don't like it, don't like it. If you like it, yes, like it. it is is free. Um, it is free. Of yeah, course. it makes things less cluttered. It sort of organizes <laughs> things. Apparently, they have a faster oh. loading time. I haven't noticed that as much. I, I, I love the menu. On, I love the menu on the side, which is always available. That's yeah. Such they a nice idea. scrolling all the way up to get to the menu. Oh. Yes, they added sidebar instead of top bar. It's nice. I mean. Not a problem with it. Don't no. know. Did it come out recently, or did you just find it recently? I don't know, actually. I, I, I think it's pretty it's new. For, I think it's quite new. It looks new. Uh, let me check. <laughs> we don't know what we're reporting about. <laughs> we don't know anything. We're just here to talk. And I uh, hope I'm doing a good job at that. Wiki wand. Uh... Their website's pretty cool. Their website's really cool. It looks like wiki wand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yes, shit. definitely. Um, uh, okay, I don't, I don't get, I don't whatever. get to see how old they are. It's hmm. relatively new. I mean, it certainly hasn't been out forever. So about, go check them out. It's fun. Oh, uh, is that... about 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 no no map. no. Oh, all right, okay, that's that's okay. Well, that make you want. It's good. Oh, it's amazing. I get... I just That's realized great. maybe there's uh maybe there's a um, Wikipedia article about Wiki Wand. Possibly. Oh, <laughs> you mean a Wiki <laughs> Wand article? <laughs> Wiki Wand. I can't get it. All oh, right, whatever. I'll find it later. Um. All right. So next thing, I guess we can jump to our recap of games. Sure. Yeah. 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 Right. Games. I I don't the know. Game's we just... <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so, throughout this week, we played a little StarCraft 2 because I got a mechanical keyboard. Mechanical keyboard, awesome. If you want to know what it is, it is the Cooler Master, Quick Fire, Rapid, Stealth, something or another. Oh, yeah. Cooler Master, Cooler CM, it's a CM Storm Quick Fire Stealth, Quick Fire Rapid. That's it. And I got the 10 keyless, so it fits nice on my desk. It's pretty awesome. I got the Cherry MX Blue switches. It is really loud. <laughs> it is awesome yes, it when is. you're talking to people on Skype. <laughs> no, Victor it's not. Can attest. It it is not awesome, but it works really well in RTS games like StarCraft because when you need like really fast key presses instead of just hitting, I don't, I don't know. The full end key rollover is nice. I don't know, just tap tapping hotkeys faster. It's it's good. That's my plug. If you don't have a mechanical keyboard, go get one now. They are relatively cheap. Um, oh, oh, correct. CM Storm is quite cheap too. <laughs> Since uh, when did right. autocorrect correct smileys? It corrects your smileys. I had that happen the other day. Like, uh, iOS oh, oh. 8 autocorrect is so messed up. It's either not correcting things for me or overcorrecting them. And it, it's not it, good. It, 
it made my smiley face into a sad face, which was really, really inappropriate <laughs> at the point. I was like, oh, you're finally coming home. And then it's a like, sad face. <laughs> Why on earth would it... Was it like colon parentheses stuff? No, I just used the smiley. <laughs> in the Wait, smiley like an face. emoji? Yeah, in emoji. It auto-corrected an emoji? Yep. Dang. That is... That, that is that's stupid. some next level hate on autocorrect. I, I'm pretty certain if I'm going to use an emoji, I know which emoji to use. So, Well, I just... Um, upta- after I updated the Goldmaster current version of iOS 8, because I've been having the latest developer preview since a while back. Just didn't care to update since there was nothing new. Uh, now I've been to 802 and I can't get the bug to happen again. So that's good. Well, as long as they fixed it, that's good. Guys, don't go check yeah. your phone. It's not there anymore. We have confirmed. <laughs> Beta bug. That, well, at least they fixed that. I'm glad somebody Hopefully. caught it. Hopefully. It, it only happened to me once. I don't know, but I hope I hope they fix it. Because correcting emojis is not the way to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think people know better than or to correct what they mean. It's like, you press the wrong emoji. Here, have this one instead. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Speaking of things that were not correct, Shadows of Mordor came out this week. It's a pretty awesome game. It is a third-person hack-and-slash kind of game. Go look it up. Shadows of Mordor... Is that the full name? I think some person at the forum said Destiny came out. Oh, wait. It was every newspaper ever. (laughs) Yeah. So, Shadows of Mordor, pretty hyped game. It actually is decently good. Um... Basically, third-person open world. It's based around the Lord of the Rings series, but it's not directly related. You basically go around fighting orcs, I believe, something like that. And mm. there's, it's cool. There's all kinds of mechanics in the game to like cause uprisings and conflicts between the orcs. You're basically like manipulating them into winning the game. It's neat. The graphics are okay, and apparently they have really high requirements like high graphics requires three gigs of video ram oh god yeah and the ultra graphics requires six gigs of video ram well i can play starcraft 2 on ultra on my portable mac well you're not going to be able to play shadows of mordor apparently (laughs) because the only graphics card out currently that has six gigs of ram is a titan you can or Anything above that, Titan Black, Titan Z, etc. Actually, the 295X2, I believe, has 8 gigs? There's a version of that with 8 gigs, I think. But that's that's about it. I mean, there you're talking like several thousands of dollars in order to play this game on Ultra. Yeah. Interestingly I... enough, the Ultra graphics aren't even out on release. It's going to be a patch in at a later date, which... Is kind of stupid. They, they probably you... need some time to fix up the graphics because they're going to be like not a possibly precise. But they're, I don't know. There are some screenshots of ultra versus high. They're not not that much of a difference. The graphics aren't even that good though. However, benchmarks have proven that it actually does require that many, that much video RAM. So, like if you, was there a Linus Tech Tips they did a benchmark on Shadows of Mordor against high-end cards, and if you bump it up to 4K, the GTX 7, no, 980 and 970 actually do worse than the R9 290 and 290X when you go to 4K. But they wow. beat it because they have 4 gigs of video RAM, so it's able to load more textures. So that's actually interesting that the game does use more than 3 gigs of video RAM to render in 4K. So... I guess they actually have, I mean, the game isn't incredibly unoptimized. I mean, it's running at decent frame rates. The graphics, I guess, well, are just loading a ton of stuff. Either it's a horrible game or it's an awesome game. <laughs> it's <laughs> mediocre. I mean, it's it fits into a category of games where either you love it and you play it all the kinds. I mean, it's kind of boring, but at least from my opinion, it's not. I mean, you just go around doing similar things over and over again. But the there, there's a few different types of quests, but it's not a whole so, lot. 
Starcraft 2 will always always be my favorite game. At least Already. until I, I love Starcraft 2. I played on the plane today. I want to play at home. I was just wow. playing Starcraft. Speaking of amazing graphics, I recently started playing Vanishing of Ethan Carter. If you do not know what that game is, go check it out right now. I'll try to remember I, to put I, a link in the description. I don't know. <laughs> it's this game, the graphics are incredible. The most high resolution graphics I have ever seen in a released game. I think Star Citizen might have it up by a little bit in terms of detail, but like the graphic quality is amazing. You actually have like high resolution rocks on the ground that you can wow. look at and they have the leaves sitting on the ground have 3D models. They, I, like I go just... look up Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I just and you're looking at a 4K image, and it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I'll try to link some images of it. Yeah, like, the gameplay... Can we play oh, this? It's, is, is it multiplayer? No, it's a single-player detective game. You're basically wandering around this abandoned village looking for why this child has died, and, like, you have supernatural abilities to discover it. It's quite complex gameplay to be honest i played like the first hour and had to look up a guide on how exactly to play the game because it doesn't tell you anything it doesn't even like tell you wasd controls but you basically like have to walk up to random things and try to inspect them and once you inspect the correct things stuff happens and it's pretty cool oh, the like game the gameplay once you know what it is it's really awesome just be prepared to sink a ton of time into figuring out what you're supposed to do or look up the ign guide like i have on one of my monitors uh speaking of games with good graphics no no not speaking of games with good graphics stoneheart it's a game it's a game that uh the alpha is out for windows and i can't wait for the mac version to come they, they promised the mac version it looks epic what uh, is stone the graphic Heart? the graphics are horrible Think Minecraft it's, well, it's a voxel-based game. It's a voxel-based game. But the graphics are really, really cute. Mm. And it's more it's more of a old-fashioned SimCity game with voxel-based creatures. And you're able to terraform the world in a really cool way. And the people working on it is the coolest people ever. Um, so is it closer to Banished or SimCity? Closer to Banished, I guess. I haven't played Banished, so no. I mean, you know what you know what it is, right? Yeah, I know what it is. Kind All of. Right. Yeah, I have Banished. I love it. It's a great game. It's. I mean, it gets kind of boring. I haven't played it in a long time, but oh. sitting in my Steam library, I have like two hours logged. Oh. Okay, I have 99 it's minutes. Whew. This is going to be cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. What is? Well, I have... This is... Mainly the reason why I want to install the Windows 10 preview to play this game today. <laughs> <laughs> my, my my reason for installing a preview of Windows is playing this game. Okay? Well, I mean, if it's free, why not? Yeah. Better than buying Windows 8 or 7. I think Windows oh. 10 might actually be a free upgrade if you already own Windows. So I'm kind of hyped for that. You can look here up. You probably can put this link in the description. They have a really cool roadmap of what they're currently doing. Mm. Yes, they do. Um, oh, yeah, it is really cool. They have the little progress bars. So multiplayer, they haven't started, I'm assuming? Uh, well, according to the main developer, they have started, but they haven't made any progress on it. But they have thought about it. So it's it's integrated in a way. They have but... thought about it. All right, so just looking and at I, it right I now. I can't play multiplayer. I... I basically love multiplayer games because I don't find it fun to play alone. That is exactly the same reason I have for multiplayer games. I generally only buy multiplayer games, and I make sure that I have friends that buy it. Yeah, because I, then I have. I friends. generally buy only multiplayer games, and then I find some friend that has has it, or if, and if no friends have it, I just buy it for a friend. <laughs> yep, Victor's bought me a few games, and I <laughs> occasionally play them with him. Um, <laughs> that's logic. It's, apparently, it was actually updated today, so they do have active yeah. developers. Yeah, they do. It updated um, Friday, October third is the recording date. I'm pretty certain I'm uploading this on Saturday, October fourth. I hope if if it's not correct, you know something went wrong, and it may or may not be in the description. But 
Hopefully. Timber and Stone is a fairly a fairly similar game. Um, that's the game I was thinking but, of. Yeah, Timber and Stone yeah. has been out for a while. If you're uh, if you know what that is, that's basically the same level of graphics and yeah. Though so the graphics are cuter in Stone Hearth. That that is true. More round. Uh, the animals uh, or not animals? Uh, oh my god, the people look better. <laughs> The animals. The animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Timber and Stone last update was seven May seven two thousand fourteen. So it's not completely out there yet, but it's yeah. It's getting there. Um, yeah. So good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, uh, 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 next thing. Oh, all what? right. We oh. can move on to. <laughs> Well, Minecraft. Talking just... about, yeah, talking about voxel-based games. The yeah, king speaking of, of voxel, games. the king of <laughs> voxel-based games, Minecraft. Um, quick update: I've been playing around with an equivalent exchange two reboot mod. Its name is Project E. Surprise, surprise. Ah, oh, god, that searched Project Eternity. Um, it's only available <laughs> on GitHub. I don't know why the author does not have. Oh, that by the way, sense. don't search Project E on Google. It brings up some Ethiopian uh, charity organization. Yeah, <laughs> so... I don't know why it's not on, like, Minecraft forum or anything, but it's not there. You have to, like, go to some dude's uh, mod spotlight and then click on the GitHub link, and there's downloads there. He basically... Project E was a joint project between the United States and the United Kingdom during the Cold War to provide nuclear weapons to the British Royal Air Force RAF. Prior yeah, to it is own not nuclear that. weapons becoming available. Okay. <laughs> I will try to put a link to the GitHub project for this. Yeah, he has a link to the downloads in the readme of his file. Um, he's updating it. I mean, it's not perfect. There's certainly some small bugs. I noticed some transportation tablet stuff not saving, but. He basically copied everything from Equivalent Exchange 2, and most of it works, considering it's in, like, early alpha. Pretty awesome. He even, like, changed the textures on a lot of things. Some of it looks better. Divining Rod looks kind of weird, but at least it looks like a rod this time instead of some, like, K symbol. Oh, and by the way, Microsoft bought Minecraft. Yeah, that's old news. If you don't know that, go get out. Go get out from <laughs> underneath your rock. Go on Minecraft forum read the past like 500 topics yeah. yeah it's it's uh i don't know what to say about that it's i find it sad that they're buying it it's i'm it's... not too worried but you know who is affected by the buy elaram elaram yeah elaram elaram is back in the community that's cool she that's... has been back for a while yeah she's on her twitter if you i'll try to link her twitter <laughs> Oh god, Just... so many links to keep track of. <laughs> Red Red Power was my favorite mob. I, I, ah, I can see twitter.com slash LRAM is not the correct link. No, uh, twitter.com slash the real LRAM. Yes, <laughs> I realize that now. I'm following her and I don't know that. Alright, you know what? Here, I'll... Yes, at the real LRAM. She updates actually pretty frequently now. Apparently she like yeah. is um... getting back on Twitter. She's, um... When she found about out this? about the... Um... The, the buying and the transfer, uh, she she seemingly uh, restarted uh, or restarted to program on her own uh, MC-like engine again, which is called Minya, as far as I know. Uh, which there was no there was never too much info about it, but the now she's providing some screenshots and they look amazing. Yeah, if you go to. I think it's lrom.com. She owns that, correct? Yeah. If you go to lrom.com and go to, like, one of the very first pages, it's way back Minia, I believe, is what she called it back then. Minia, yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, I don't even know if it's here. <laughs> Blog archives. Um. Mm. Posted in Minia Red Power. I don't know. You can... Here. The yeah, first a... one. Yeah, Victor, send me that link. I'll, uh, I'll put it in the description. Anyway, there, you can yeah. look at some of the old ones, and then she... I thought it was dead, but apparently she's been working on it, and it actually exists for stuff now, and it's pretty awesome. Yeah, so you can see Minia looks really crap in this... Okay, yeah, so the very first topic. 
Um, yeah, so Minia, yeah, there's one picture, but she posted some more stuff about it, which is really awesome, because I was kind of hoping it would come out a long time ago, but it's yeah, not uh, necessarily Minecraft, but she's writing her own game engine, and it's coming along nicely. Uh, her latest tweet is, I'm not replacing MC with an MC-like, though. I have my own settings, editor mobs, eventually tech tree, etc. It will include red power in it, obviously, and all kinds of nice configuration <laughs> and easy modability. No, sorry, I, I'm not making red power for Minya, I'm making it for the Microsoft version. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think she says it's still going to be released for the Mi Minecraft. Uh, she made a statement on uh, the IRC, as long as the Java code base ex exists. Yeah, so she's not going to give up, she just is probably going to start moving towards her own game, because she has more control over it, and she doesn't want Microsoft. No so, one does. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh well. Poor Microsoft. Um, <laughs> no one likes them. Yeah. But, that, I guess I should have been in the news, but... Not really. I've been following It's not news it's... anymore. <laughs> no. I mean, it's technically not news. It's been around for forever, but... At least while we're on the topic of Minecraft, might as well be there, but... Good stuff, good stuff. Uh... Last few things. Oh, yeah, you wanted to mention your Amazon order. <laughs> what? What? Your Amazon order. My Amazon order. Hmm. Hmm. What was that? Where is that? It's in the middle. Yeah, just what was that about? I can't remember. Oh, oh. yeah. Amazon sent me a mail about uh, they being sorry. Let's see. I'm going to find the mail. I I got this two days ago. and It, it says, we're sorry your shipment has got delayed. Uh, rest assured you'll have your item within a couple of days. And then it lists the item, which is a monitor that's standing in front of me right now. Which I got, like, months ago. So, if they really think that they haven't delivered it yet, they should probably check up their shipping things, because that is really, 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 really late. And I don't know what happens. Do I get another monitor? I hope you do. You should send me one if you get a second one. <laughs> I'm always up for some more monitors. I know you are. Yeah. You've seen pictures said... of my man cave. <laughs> Jer Jeremy sent me a screenshot. Like, a few minutes oh. before the whole cast. Yeah, and so... And he, he has four screens. Because Windows is stupid. Because the easiest way on Windows 8, you can actually take a screenshot of you hold Windows key, print screen... It'll take a screenshot of your entire desktop background and set it in your pictures directory in a screenshots folder. It'll Which I find be... convenient. It'll be fixed when you get virtual desktops. I mean spaces. Uh, I mean, what, what? Mission control? Huh? <laughs> Shut up. I don't think it's going to, because, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, well, I... so it takes a screenshot of all four monitors, and I don't have them in a grid, so it's not like a perfect square screenshot. I have... Three across wide in a big Ifinity setup for amazing gaming, and then one on top to the left, not even center. So when I send a screenshot to people, it looks stupid. And I have to zoom in really f far to see what it looks like, but... When I, yeah. when I think screenshot, it just takes the active screen, which is the one I'm using. Well, I'm sure there's a hotkey for that, but I don't know it. I'll look it up. <laughs> it's too much work. Yeah. I don't have time to sit there combing the internet for hotkeys. I know a lot of hotkeys, but I don't I never rarely take screenshots. I don't even know if I have push. That's a good application. S for S C V, A for Marine, R for Reaper. What are you doing? Listing hotkeys in StarCraft. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna go more like Windows key Left arrow, snaps it to the left, Windows key up, snaps it full screen, Windows key down, minimizes it. Oh god. Command command space for spotlight. Yep, good good hotkeys, good hotkeys. Never use that one. Speaking of spotlight, uh Windows 8 has a spotlight ish thing. Um next to their start menu they have a little search menu that pops up, which is stupid, but it basically searches the internet and 
Display is the top Bing results. I know Bing. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, look at the spotlight in OS X, and then you go look at Ubuntu, which has had this for like, what is it, a year now? Now Windows is getting it. Hmm. It's not even Spotlight, though. Like, it's. I'm tempted to start up my virtual machine just to talk about it because it's stupid. Like, they, they, all right, there's still the search thing on your start menu that searches your whole computer. This is a search menu for your internet, and it basically opens up its own little web browser window. It doesn't even open up your default web browser or Internet Explorer or anything. It just opens up this random window with Bing search results, and you can click on them. And basically surf the internet from there. Just great. It's garbage. I wish I could just remove it. It's one of those things that they add and they think it's cool and it's kind of cool, but it's never actually usable. I put in a uh, request ticket for them to at least have it open up in your default web browser or something. And your default search engine, because that would be fantastically better than... It's not even... I don't even know what it is. It's like Windows Search is the name of the program or something. And they wrote their own program to display search results, and it's stupid. Hmm, Spotlight on Mac OS X is the best thing ever, but okay. Yeah, Spotlight on Mac is actually pretty good. This is not. Although I have to say, Windows 8 search is pretty dang fast. <clears throat> oh, and Spotlight on Ubuntu, or Ubuntu, or whatever you say, is also cool. <laughs> mm, not as cool, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, so... There's my other last half of the podcast, wrapping back to I Windows, just, and it's stupid. I just installed Windows 10. Your PC needs to restart. Please hold on the power button. Error code, zero X. Yeah. Oh, yeah, don't do that right now. No, I, it's just virtual box. Oh, well, then it should automatically restart or just hit the power button. <laughs> yeah, just hit the power, power button. Yeah, so I think we've covered everything else on the podcast. Victor has a note about his new wristwatch that I'm sure is stupid. Uh, let, let me just hold it up to the microphone. Mm -hmm. I Do don't hear, hear anything. Now? No. You don't hear this? Hmm. No, whatever. I'm sure it takes, doesn't it? It takes, yeah. It's it's from eBay. It's 40, 40 kroner, which is like five bucks. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a really small amount of... It looks good. You sent me a picture of it, and it looks yeah, like it's... some Rolex watch or something. Yeah, you can see the inside of the clock moving, and it's really awesome, in my opinion. Right, I love let it. Let me see if I can find the picture. Oh, well, that's a picture <laughs> of your Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It... I'm not finding it. Uh... Oh, you know what I could do is just go down to your picture... Maybe I sent it on Skype. I think you must have sent it on Skype or no, something. No, I, I found the line message now. It's, oh, I it's a video, it. actually. Oh, that's why. Right, 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 right. All right, well, either way, that about wraps up this episode of the podcast. If you guys have any suggestions, comments, questions, concerns, questions for us that we may answer, or at least I will. I don't know if Victor will be here for the next one next week. I probably Same will. Same time, maybe. If you'll have but me. We'll see. I, I might invite you. Depends if you can. Uh, unless people go in the comments and say, please don't put Victor in the next episode. Victor's horrible. All he does is talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you have anything else to add, if you want us to answer a comment, leave it below. I will answer it on the podcast. If you have any suggestions, comments, questions, concerns, if I forgot to don't put something the... in the description, please yeah, let me know. Away. Just go hide under a pillow and hope for the wrath of Jeremy not to eat you up. Yep. Anyway, thank you guys <laughs> for making it this far into the podcast without crying. Thank you guys for watching. Feedback is good. And I will see you guys next week. Yep. Bye-bye. Whoa.